Guys, the chickens here bringing you another boomage video. In today's video, guys, we got some warships tips for you, like always, but also wanted to let you guys know that we are doing the uh, code chicken giveaway. Um, oh, we're almost down to two hours. So, uh, all you gotta do is just use the code when you buy something, get instant training or whatever from the shop. Let me know either in the comments or send me a screenshot. I prioritize the screenshots, obviously, in the giveaway. So, if you send a screenshot, you got a better chance of winning. I give away a hundred bucks. Uh, worth of Apple, iTunes, whatever gift cards for any of the games or apps you, that you guys play. So, uh, that being said, you know, we got a lot of stuff. Um, so, we got, it, it's, it's, uh, we, we've got a few days left. Oh, that's always a great screen to open up to, Chicken. Uh, we got a few days left in Warships, uh, Season 14. Who man, it's been a bit of a slog, but, um, Overall, you know, as difficult and tricky as the season's been, I've actually kind of liked that it's, um, you know, other these last few days aside, because uh, I just really haven't made progress. A lot of that's just on me. I've just been really busy, blah, 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 and come the excuses. Um, it's been very different. We've seen a lot of different true metas. We've seen a lot of different... Um, <clears throat> it's, it's been almost too different. Uh, like... I feel like if you're not changing your base every two days, like you're at a disadvantage. And that's, you know, you got to invest a lot of time into it. But regardless, guys, so we got you covered for uh, the next meta. Now, we have heavy choppers lined up. Uh, I got a new base today as well. But we, uh, basically, you want to do um, heavy chopper seeker rushes with bullet and taunt. And um, here's the new base. So the, I, I swapped out the microwave for the... Whoops. I didn't mean to do that. I swapped out the microwave for the damage amp. Uh, that seems to be what people are going with now. Uh, I like to keep the Doom Cannon in the back. Just copy this base. You'll probably do okay with it. It's um, it, it's actually a rocket launcher base, so there's rockets like in these big open gaps over here, over here, and somewhere over here. Now, I thought about going back and getting rocket launchers, but, I mean, the amount of keys are absolutely insane. But I'm also not going to... Um, I'm not going to go to seven engines. So I think what I'm going to do... Here's basically my next uh, tech plan. I want to get the the hot pot. I want to get the shock mines. I think brick is actually going to be really good um, with seekers or bombers or whatever because it's all it's a base race, right? So bricks, you know, brick has the potential to be very good in a base race meta. Um, I'm not going to get this. So basically, I'm going to go one, two, three right here to the shock mine. Then uh, I'll probably spend everything to go back, um, get rocket launchers. Um, I don't think we skipped anything else that was too important. I'm pretty happy with my tech tree overall. Um, oh, and I'll get mortars at some point. And uh, was there something else I want to get that was back here? I think it was just mortars. Maybe smokes for the Seekers. I don't know. If we have enough left, we'll get smokes. But um, yeah, that's basically the rest of the tech tree that's planned. Um, you know, And I'm not going to go to 70 yards this season. I'm just going to build up a dirty six engine base. Um, and just kind of go from there and see if we can make it work for us. So... Um, <clears throat> now I should have more time to, um, play the Mega Crab next week coming up. Uh, I got some time off coming up, so I'm hoping to be able to, to do more live streams. So, uh, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Now, here we go. Here's basically how we want to run this, guys. Um, so we kind of throw a bullet out with the heavy choppers, throw them into the abyss. Uh, at that point, that's when we, uh, take down the... Um, the shock launchers, one, two, three, four, um, and then we're just going to focus over here on our seekers, oh no, oh no, oh no, yeah, two centered barrages will take out a, um, <clears throat> two centered barrages will take out a shock launcher, not centered barrages, you're going to have a rough time, so here we go, the shock over here, now my critters are looking pretty weak, they got hit pretty hard over there on the left side, um, but let's see if we can make it work. So they're going to run down over here onto the right next. Um, yeah, so that's going to be a nice big fat fail to open things up with guys. But, um, that's basically what we're doing. Now, <clears throat> admittedly, I think I threw them to their death a little bit too early. They essentially did nothing while they were up there. So just time it a little bit better. Um, see if we can show you a replay where we did it a little bit nicer. Um, Okay, um, yeah, so this is basically the idea. So we throw him up here. Uh, this guy also had less defenses. The other guy was pretty maxed out. Um, and then we're just clearing the path for the Seekers. We're using Taunt with Bullet. 
Uh, we're keeping everyone up in the middle, nice and distracted, as the Seekers go about and do their work. And then we're just using shocks um, as needed to get through. But, um, but yeah, it's been rough. Let's see what he did against us. He actually didn't finish our base. So it's a it's a good base, guys. Oh, he went heavy bomber. That's boring. That's that's lame. Come on, man. Sure, you can use heavy bomber. You'll clear the base, but it's slower. The whole idea of this is to is uh, the speed, right? Now these bases I actually like. So let's take a look at this here. Um, now let's go bullet heavy heavy and one two nice and centered this time. One two three four. Now we're gonna move them up and over. Actually, I want to lock onto that. Uh, Actually, no, let's pull an audible and switch them up over here. And now we'll throw out the critters. <clears throat> I mean, if you can keep them kind of in line with the critters, that's going to be nice. There we go. Keep everybody nice and taunted. Now, we do have all of our shocks. But as long as we can keep the taunts going, we're going to be okay. Uh, it's just all about the taunt and making sure the bullet is not getting melted by the shock blaster. Because um, if Bolt's getting pelted by the Shock Blaster, then uh, you're going to be in for a rough time, obviously, because he's not going to be taunting anything. He's just going to be standing there like a doofus, doing nothing. So there we go, there we go, let's get another taunt, and boom, 3-6. There, that's what we wanted. It's not easy, it's not an easy meta, but this is the best way that we're attacking right now, so. Yeah, let's see what Buddy's doing over, oh no, we're going down, we're going down hard to the Bulldozer. Yes, not Hard enough, though. Yes. There we go. L. Bell Dozer. L. Bell sucks, guys. No, I'm just kidding. Big shout out to Dozer. I'm sure he's a good guy. Um, but either way. Okay. Let's get back to time, for God's sakes, chicken. Yeah. <clears throat> but, I mean, this is it. If you can find a good time to push. And uh, if you could really just, like... It's really just about figuring out the attack. I mean, you just got to practice these hits. Get better with them. And you're going to be fine. So... Um, okay, let's go, let's go bully, down this way, one, two, and then, uh, one, two, three, four, uh, we guys looking over here, okay, let's start to move them up this way, now we can throw the seekers in as well, get a quick taunt going in there, I think the taunt's gonna be a little delayed, I might need to shock this flamethrower still, a smoke right here would be really nice. But we don't have that uh, privilege right now, do we? Okay, let's go like this. And some of them are going to split up this way. That's fine. Some of them are going to split that way. That's also fine. Everything's fine. One, two, taunt, critter. Ah, uh, they're not going to go up this way. Shoot. Ah, man. Like I said, it's not easy, especially if they split like that. I probably should have planned for it based on the layout of the base. Um, but yeah, it's not easy, man. It's not easy. Whew, okay. Okay. I mean, if you're really struggling with it like chicken, you're going to be better off just using Heavy Chopper Bomber because, I mean, you're, you're guaranteed to get through the base, but you're going to get through it a lot slower, right? That's the idea. So we want to speed things up quickly, not slowly. But I'm going down with the ship, man. I, you know, this is the best way to do it, so... <clears throat> you just gotta try to figure it out and get better with each attack. Blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah, let's show you guys another replay where it worked. Uh, yeah, so these cluster bases it works really well against. Maybe, you know, if there's a base like the one I just hit that you're, you're looking at and you're like, hmm, this is gonna be rough. Maybe bust out the heavy uh, the heavy chopper bombers at that point, but um, for these these cluster bases, I find the seeker hits work really well, especially when you mix in a couple heavy choppers and bullet and taunt. Um, yeah, it can be really nice, but uh, this is what we're focusing on today. So here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's go one two, one two bullet, one two three four, and then we'll throw everybody else over on this side. Let's actually flare them this way. Flare, 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 flare. And then we'll try to get them to come up at around the same time and do it a little bit nicer. You have to remember that the heavy choppers move a lot faster than the bullet. So now we can go up this way. Because the seekers are going to stay put. They're going to be good seekers and stay at that engine room for a second. Um, now let's get bullet way up here. And always when you're flaring bullet like this, make sure that you flare to an area versus flaring um, on a building, just in case the building goes down and then you're, you're stuck without a flare. 
like I just did right there, but that's fine. All right, there we go. We got some taunts coming in, and we're pretty well protected here. And let's go like this. Get one more taunt. I like to throw critters out instead of artilleries because just in case you fizzle out really quickly, um, you got that coverage of the critters being able to get a little bit extra damage than the artillery. In that case right there, it didn't really matter. But, um, but yeah, that's it. That's what we got. That's the new. Uh, that's the newest. That's the latest and greatest. That's the base. That's the attack. That's everything. And how are we going to end this off? Check in. Ugh. <laughs> Fittingly on a loss, but um, hopefully you guys can make it work a little bit better than the chicken can. Either way, I appreciate you guys. Uh, appreciate you guys so much for watching. That is gonna wrap up the video today. Make sure you're using the code chicken in the shop. And as always, guys, uh, uh, what I just said, and we'll see you in the next one. Chicken out. Back, back.